Hey guys, this is Elena Singan Lee from We Learn to Share, and in this video, we're gonna solve how to get this formula, how to derive this formula to get the moment of inertia of a thin rod around axis through center perpendicular to length. So let's dive right in. So if you kind of can imagine how this rod will look like, because it is thin, it means it doesn't have any thickness, or you can just um, ignore the thickness. And over here, the length would be L, and we have the axis in the um in the middle right this will be the axis of rotation and then you will put a small particle over here that's dm and then you can say that x would be from the center to the di to the to the 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 length the distance between the axis of rotation and the particle the mass particle and then you would have dx over here so uh, you can first remember that Rhonda is equal to m over l, which is dm over dx. And so it will be dm equals Rhonda dx. And if you take the inertia, you would have to integrate it from here to here. So imagine this being on a coordinate system, and this is the origin. Then over here, it would be 1 over 2 over L, sorry, and this will be also L over 2. And therefore, from the origin, this will be plus L over 2, and here will be minus L over 2. So you have to integrate it from minus L over 2 to plus L over 2. So you would have minus L over 2 and plus L over 2. And the distance from the axis of rotation over here is, as you can see, x squared. And you would have dm, but remember that you can substitute this inside. So therefore, you would have x squared ronda dx, and you could put the constant out, ronda, and you would have l over 2 minus l over 2 and x squared dx. And if you integrate this, you would have 1 over 3x cubed. And if you substitute this inside, then you would have minus, minus, sorry cube like this and because this cancels like becomes one and it will be equal to this so l cube over 12 and remember that ronda over here is equal to mass um divided by l i can substitute this value inside here so it'll be m over l and you would have l cube over 12 and l cancels out so it'll be 1 over 12 m L square. So this is the answer. Um, but before we end, let's just try to solve the moment of get the moment of inertia about a thin rod that is around through a center that is about the end. So it will look like the axis of rotation being right over here at the end. It's not that hard because you would have um dm over here dx x and the whole length l everything is same you can say that ronda is m over l and um therefore dm over dx and dm equals ronda dx and you would have um i but this time um, the limits would be different because now if you think of this as of a xy coordinate and this is the origin then the distance would be from 0 to l right so that's what you should do you have to integrate it from l, wait, 0 to l and again x square is same because that's a distance from the center, so from the axis to the particle, and you have the m, but again, you can substitute this inside, so you'd have ronda dx, and you can put ronda outside, do it in 0 to l, and x squared dx, and this is equal to 1 over 3x squared, l to 0, and if you substitute this inside, you would have 1 over 3 l cubed, and therefore, because ronda is equal to m over l, this and it'll be equal to 1 over 3 ml square. So in this video, we have um, solved how to derive the moment of inertia for a thin rod about access to a central perpendicular to length. So over here, and also additionally, 
if it is about the end. So this would be the end of the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.